Hey everyone, welcome to the new video series of Azure DevOps. I have already posted almost like 24 to 25 videos in this current month. And you can find the playlist you are in the video description, please do watch. Now, we have already created this project and we have created area path team, everything is done. The only pending item is permission, which is a very interesting concept. Now, I'm in my project and if you go to project setting, under permissions so here if you see there are various default permissions level which is available contributors and reader if you add any team or any team member under contributor they will have most of the access which we'll see at the end of the video now we are going to see the permission level of azure devops board in a detail level so now to do it go to project configuration and go to areas in our earlier video, we have created this area path and we have set up the hierarchy level as well. We have two major areas and under that two sub areas are also there. Now here if you find three dot is there. So if you just tap it, you will find security. And if you set the permissions over here, it will be applicable to all these sub areas over here. In case if you want to provide a finer level of access, let's say for example, you want to provide access only to this area path. then just click on three dot from here and go to security. Now, this is the administrator account uh, where I have all the access and and this is an another account where this user is having only reader access. Now we are going to provide additional access as well. And let me go to project setting and here under project configuration areas. So let's say for example, if I try to create one more sub area from here, it won't let me let me click on new child. So just, I'm just providing some sub area. So if I try to save, it will show an error because this particular account doesn't have enough permission. So how to provide permission to create sub area. So in order to do it, just go over here. And currently I'm adding access to this area path alone. So in order to do it, just search for the particular account and tap it. And here you will find create child nodes. That is what we are trying to do now, right? So click on allow. Now let's go here, cancel it, refresh. Sometimes it is better to sign out and sign in because then only your credential will be refreshed. So let me click on new child. So, see, now I'm, we are able to. So now I'm trying to delete it. It won't let because just come over here. Here if you see, delete this node, this particular access is denied. So you need to enable it back. And let's go over here. Now let me refresh. If I try to delete, it is not allowing me. Why so? It is clearly saying we need one more permission which is edit this node. So let me go over here. Let me provide that permission as well for Quili. So now I guess now Quili will be able to delete the child node as well. Let me go over here. Let's refresh. Let me try to delete now. Now we are able to. Let's go back to admin. Okay. And what are this? Edit work item comments in this node. Edit work item in this node. Let's see these two. Let me switch to Quili account. And I am going to work items and I am picking up a work item which is uh, created under AS dev team and here if you see I couldn't edit the title I couldn't edit the description because here edit work item in this node it is not enabled it is not set so let me allow this now if I refresh and do i can be able to do let me fast forward this content see now i am able to edit now we will similarly i couldn't edit the command let me i will quickly provide permissions to edit the comment as well see now we are able to and i can edit as well now let's get back to the admin account okay here if you see these two are specific to tests plans and test shoots 
which I don't have as of now meaning like those type of work item I don't have so I am just leaving as it is and view permission of this node so whether this user is supposed to view what are the permissions assigned over here it is allowed and here if you see it is showing us inherited we will come to this part later and view work item in this node it is allowed as well because we this particular user is a part of readers it is clearly saying this particular user is part of reader before we proceed i like to highlight that it takes a lot of effort to make a video like this so i request you to hit the bell icon so that you will get notified when i am uploading new videos super thanks is now enabled on our channel in case if you wish to do contribute i would really appreciate it now we have provided access uh, at one area path only for quili and if you go and check for another team quili won't be having access even if you search quili and you will get to see only view permission are there so if you want to provide access to everything just provide at the higher level somewhere here and you can provide access to query so this is one of the way now just click on the three dot go to security we will see about contributor so what i'm going to do is for contributors i'm going to provide create child node access and to delete this node i'm going to deny it and to edit this node i'm going to deny it they can only create child nodes and whether the team or people add or under contributor will be able to edit the work item so just work item comments yes they can for rest of the item i have provided as allow so let me close this now we have provided access to contributors now let's go to permissions and under contributors if you just tap members you will get to see these are the various team which is having contributor access and if you just select any team you can see the members since these members were part of this team and this team is part of contributor they will be having the complete access either you can add quili over here or you can add quili under here as well and that's it on access related to boats we have lot of concepts to cover i request you to hit the bell icon and wait for my next video thank you bye bye I will provide WhatsApp and Telegram channel URL in the video description. Please do join. I request you hit the bell icon so that you will get notified when I am uploading new videos. Follow me on LinkedIn to stay connected. Thank you. Bye bye.